it was so exciting last weekend with Winx getting her 30th straight victory. How has the mighty mare pulled up? She's pulled up very well, Lizzie. Um, can't be happier with her, and I think that's one of her biggest assets is when she's racing, she's not, not getting worn out, should we say, for better words. She's um, doing it pretty easy, and that helps the horse recover so much quicker. So she's bouncing out of her skin, so to speak, and she had a gallop this morning at Rose Hill. Worked well, as you'd expect and seven days out from her next race, she's ready to go. So I guess those two trials, the exhibition gallop, are all part of making sure that she races well first up, comes through the race well, and then performs well second up. Looking forward to today, you've got the Autumn Sun returning in the Hobartville. There's been a little bit of speculation that he might not be trialling as well as previous preparations. What's your thoughts? My thoughts are don't worry about it too much because I'll start getting stressed and I don't need that every week of the year. So um, I'm very happy with the horse. Horses perform differently under pressure and he's a high performance animal. And when you get those horses under pressure, they go to a new level. There's no better example than Winks. You see her trial. Everybody sees her trial. Um, people think we hold it back. We don't. That's as fast as she goes in the trial. Under pressure, completely different horse. She's probably the fastest horse in Australia. The Autumn Sun, look, you can't talk to talk about both horses in the same same breath, but that's a good comparison about barrier trial. So I think he'll be fine, I think he'll win. Um, but he's got to be able to to, to continue on his his well, he's won three group ones, early two year old. Um, uh, sorry, late two-year-old, early three-year-old, and, and now he's back as a late three-year-old. So um, he's got a very bright future, and obviously my only concern today is the track, just a softer, heavy track, makes the horses what well, attest them. So on that type of surface, that's my only query, but if he gets good galloping room, he should be fine. A new acquisition to the stable, Nature Strip, uh, is the favourite for the Oakley Plate. I mean, he's a boom horse in Melbourne. Have you got to know him now? know him pretty well and I knew him before he came to us too. He's, he's obviously a very good horse. He came to us in great great condition and in good form and he, he showed that a week after us taking him over winning impressively at Caulfield last start. So um, he's trained on well from that and he's a very fast horse as everybody knows. It's just a matter of sustaining that gallop. There'll be a lot of pressure today but hopefully he's got enough speed to lead and um, just get one soft section and then he'll be right. But if there's pressure on the whole way, it's a hard way to win races. Do you think that we'll be able to see him up in Sydney for his next start, or will he stay in Melbourne? we have to ask the Victorians, <laughs> won't we? Um, you just about need a passport to get them out of Victoria these days, and vice versa, I might add. But it's, it's obviously there's some great racing coming up in both states, and uh, the, best, the best racing brings the best horses, and I'm sure you'll see him and plenty of other Victorian horses coming up for the Autumn Carnival in Sydney. Well, best of luck with all your charges today. Thank you.